closed and the board certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting to which the certification applies, and only such business matters as are identified in this motion concerning the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. So moved. Second. Ms. Shuttleworth, would you please certify? Yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Apologize for us for running a little bit behind. We are cramming two meetings into one due to the weather from last last month. So we appreciate everyone's attendance. And if everyone please stand and join us in a pledge of allegiance in a moment of silence. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you. We're going to move right along with item A, our recognitions. Dr. Hackney, please. Good evening. This evening we have three special uh, recognitions. The first, we have four students from our school district who have been honored by the um, Epilepsy Foundation of Virginia. Uh, this organization invites children ages 9 to 12, generally fourth graders in our school division, uh, to participate in the 17th annual, their 17th annual poster contest. And their theme is Use a Helmet to Prevent Epilepsy. The purpose, members of the board of this contest, is to raise awareness about epilepsy and how it impacts children. And it's also twofold, to also dispel many of the myths surrounding this common condition, um, one that is very near and dear to my heart, as I had a child who developed juvenile um, epilepsy. Uh, all participating children receive a certificate, um, but 12 winners statewide are chosen. And they have a very, very special opportunity. They're invited to spend the entire day in Richmond. They are treated to events such as a breakfast honoring them, uh, a special reception with a number of senators and members of the House of Delegates, and culminating with a tour of the state capitol. Um, their artwork, again, representative of the theme, Use a Helmet to Prevent Epilepsy, uh, uh, becomes the basis for an annual calendar uh, that will be posted in a number of local uh, schools as well as pediatrician offices across the Commonwealth of Virginia. There are only 12 winners selected statewide and four this year are from our school division. So I think the odds are really wonderful and we have some excellent uh, art teachers and some very talented um, children to, to recognize tonight. We have ordered a special art related gift for them and it has not arrived. So their, their special recognition will be hand delivered to them at their schools. But we did wanna just present them to you and to honor their hard work and their beautiful artwork tonight. Um, the first student from Clarksville Elementary is Noah Hudson. And his teacher is Mrs. Karen Muller. Noah, would you like to come up and be recognized by the board? Okay, just wait right here. From uh, La Crosse, we have Chanel Posey. Penny Hare is the art teacher there, Penny. And we have two winners from Clarksville Elementary, excuse me, from Chase City Elementary, I apologize. Ethan Nipper. Ethan, are you? And Isis Alexander. And our art teacher there is Diana Clemens.
Thank you. And again, we have a small gift for you that we'll hand deliver to your schools. Congratulations. Thank you. Members of the board, our next recognition are for our um, school level winners of the local spelling bee, the Mecklenburg County uh, Division Spelling Bee. It was held here in this room on uh, January 14th, and uh, I had the privilege, as did most of our administrative team, of witnessing um, this event. I will tell you that I personally would have been eliminated after the first round. I am not kidding. <laughs> These are seriously hard words, and I was so proud of these young people. We had an individual as young as second grade representing his school at, or her school at Chase City. Um, so we'll, we'll introduce you to those, and we have a certificate, and then we'll recognize our um, winner. William Ward, fifth grader at Clarksville Elementary. Is William here? <laughs> Luke Ritchie from South Hill Elementary. Hannah Johnson from Chase City Elementary. <laughs> Cooper Carter from Bluestone Middle. <laughs> David Gerst from La Crosse Elementary. <laughs> Zachary Blackburn from Parkview Middle. Members of the board, our division winner was Zachary Blackburn from Parkview Middle, and William Ward was the runner-up from Clarksville Elementary. Zachary will proceed to the regional level to compete on March 8th at the Library of Virginia in Richmond. Good luck to you, Thank you. <laughs> Members of the board, as you know, once a year, and that's not often enough, but once a year we pause to um, publicly offer thanks uh, through an activity sponsored by our school board association to our local school board members for all of your hard work and uh, support of our school division locally. So I'm going to read um, some prepared remarks through the VSBA that I think beautifully capture um, the deserved recognition um, for all of you tonight. As you know, February is School Board Appreciation Month. Um, as citizen leaders, school board members face complex and demanding challenges. Yet few people fully understand the scope and far-reaching implications of board members' responsibilities. Virginians should recognize the vital contributions of these men and women and focus attention on the crucial role these elected public officials play in the education of our children. Their job is to establish a vision for our education program, design a structure that helps us to achieve that vision, ensure that our schools are accountable to the community and strongly advocate continuous improvement in student learning. That job entails an endless string of meetings and school functions to attend, reams of reports, agendas, proposals, and other information to read and study, and a host of difficult decisions to make. School board members come from all walks of life. Some are farmers, secretaries, doctors, lawyers, homemakers, architects, truck drivers, professors, business owners, and real estate agents, just to name a few. Although they wear many hats in the workday world, school board members put on a collective hat when they get down to the business of leading their school divisions. Board members must pull together as a team toward one common goal of helping all of our students achieve. 
Though individual school board members may sometimes disagree on issues, their role as a member of the school board is to consistently strive toward the goal of high academic achievement. Working together, school board members speak out for public schools and the students they are responsible to serve. Board members contribute hundreds of hours each year leading their school divisions, whether it is in crafting policies, hiring top-notch administrators, listening to staff and student concerns, or recognizing outstanding programs, board members always keep their eyes on the goal of student achievement. The time spent in board meetings represents just a small fraction of the hours school board members spend leading in their divisions. They also work hard at seminars and training sessions to keep abreast of the latest trends in educational leadership. They are deeply involved in community activities and they often spend many hours in the schools and at extracurricular events. Their love for learning, their concern and caring for students, our staff, and the community drives board members' desire to lead so students can ultimately achieve. In recognition of the dedicated service of school board members throughout Virginia, February has been designated as School Board Appreciation Month. This is the time to show our recognition and to increase our understanding of how local board members work together to provide a better future for our children. Mecklenburg County Schools and the state of Virginia salute these men and women who provide grassroots governance of our public schools. Tonight we honor each school board member in Mecklenburg County for your hard work. It has not gone on notice, unnoticed and it is truly appreciated by all of us in Mecklenburg County. The flowers before you, members of the board, represent just a small token of our appreciation this month and always. We also pause this month to honor our school board clerk, Mrs. Sharon Shuttleworth. Um, she's also included in the February recognitions, and I know I don't have to tell you what a good job she does. So thank you for your hard work and your dedication to the children of Mecklenburg County. And we have a certificate for each of you from the Virginia School Board Association Certificate of Appreciation presented to each of your names in recognition for your dedication and service to excellence in education on behalf of the students of the Commonwealth of Virginia from the Virginia School Board Association. Mr. Thomas Bullock. And if any of our student liaisons would like to trade your certificate for <laughs> what I got, I appreciate it. I'm not sure what the gift card was, but I see it was somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hagney. You're welcome. And finally, members of the board, it's my pleasure at this point in time to recognize our seniors of the month, starting with Bluestone High School. The faculty, staff, and administration at Bluestone High School are pleased to announce that Ms. Alana White is our January senior of the month. Alana currently has a grade point average of 4.1 and strives to be the very best in each of her classes. She's currently a member of the Beta Club, the Associate's Degree Program, and is also an office assistant at Bluestone. Ms. Beck, Alana's English teacher, is quoted as saying, Alana is a polite and genuinely sweet young lady. She is truly thoughtful and kind, and she is a wonderful student. She is diligent and never gives up on any assignment until she has successfully done her very best. Mrs. An Cajas, Alana's chemistry teacher, stated, Alana is diligent and the most dependable student in my class. She also never fails to be optimistic. That's a wonderful skill. That will serve you well. In her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her loved ones, learning new things, and going to work. Her favorite teacher is Mrs. An Cajas. After graduation, Alana plans to attend Longwood University and major in nursing. 
When asked about the most influential person in her life, she stated, my mother, I always love that answer, <laughs> because she raised me with high expectations and believes in me. That's wonderful, what a tribute. She is the daughter of Gary and Mona White. She resides right here in Boydton, Virginia. We are pleased and honored to have her serve as the January Senior of the Month for Bluestone High School. <laughs> Parkview High School is pleased to present to Kiria Lewis as January Senior of the Month. <laughs> to Kiria's proud parents are Shelley Gregory and Maurice Lewis. The family worships at Sharon Baptist Church in South Hill. She is a great student, and she was awarded her academic letter jacket last fall to recognize her diligence to scholarship and academics. Takiria is involved in numerous activities and clubs at her school. She's a member of the FCCLA, the Beta Club, and she is co-captain of the Varsity Cheerleading Squad. She has worked at Hardy's in South Hill and currently volunteers at the Hazelwood House. Takiria lost her grandmother during her freshman year, and she misses spending time with this great lady. Takiria is quoted to have said, I like to read and play games with the elderly and shut-ins because many of them don't have families to visit them. Good for you. When Takiria was apprised of this award, she is quoted as having said, I'm happy to be chosen and now I feel like I'm supposed to be a role model at all times. Her English teacher, Mrs. Trihe, said Takiria is resilient and described her as, quote, a young lady who has consistently performed at above average despite some happenings around her. Instead of catching <laughs> senioritis like so many of her peers, Takiria has achieved higher academically this year than ever before. She has truly become a leader among her peers. That's wonderful. Takiria also will earn her associate's degree from SVCC this year in May, and she plans to earn a bachelor's degree in criminal justice after, justice after completing high school. She's already been accepted to Virginia State, but she's waiting to hear from a few other schools before making a decision. And listen to this. She plans to earn her doctorate by the age of 26. Starting college as a junior could make that a very, very realistic goal. Congratulations to Kiria. Everyone who got recognized, we're going to take a five-minute recess real quick to meet and greet and shake hands real quick, if you don't mind. So if everyone that got a certificate, please come forward.